I got into weaving because my mother was insistent that I was going to spend time with her. I started waving a blanket in 2014 for the Portland Art Museum, and uh, about halfway through that, my mother died. So I realized that she had basically left the weft strands in my hands, and all of the knowledge that she had retained from Master Weaver Jenny Clanat, and it was my place to carry on. Ravenstail weaving or Yes Kuwu used to be called Northern Geometric Weaving. And you can see zigzagging lightning patterns. You can see squares, boxes within a box designs, a lot of different patterns that are pulled off of spruce root and cedar bark basketry in Clinket, Haida, and Simshian basket designs. Our Chilkat blankets record history. They tell who we are as a people. They tell our clan stories, uh, memorial stories. They can depict migrations of how we came to be where we are. They can sometimes share dreams or warning stories. They're really our written history before words were put on paper. Gratitude. Gratitude is the attitude for the whole thing. We say that we come to our weaving and we put our hands to the loom and pray. And it is not a prayer like you would think in a church or any sort of other religion. It is a gratefulness for our hands, for the time to sit at our loom, for our children being cared for, for our house being clean, for the weather, for the time and space to weave. That The gratitude is huge. The connection to culture and family is woven in. It's inherent in the work. There's no way to separate who we are as a people and the work itself. I feel a huge weight and intensity to make sure that there are at least a couple of people who carry on after I'm gone. Hopefully one of them might be one of my four daughters or my son if he chooses to weave. A lot of our designs have to do with um, our identities and our stories. For instance, I'm Lakhibu, which translates into wolf clan. When I'm drawing my crest, I'd be drawing a wolf design in form line. My crest is part of a traditional lineage system, which is usually passed on from mother to child. And we use this art form to represent who we are as individuals, but also who we are as, as a group. In Simsian, when we introduce ourselves, we say, which is a very formal greeting. And the translation of that is, how is your name? You are not the sole bearer of your name. Your name has been passed down onto you. The person who had your name before made it a name of honor, and of prominence within his family and community. And how are you treating your name? Because a name has just as much importance uh, to a family as even the house that they live in. Understanding your name and its history and throughout the community's life and throughout the life of, of your crest becomes a really important way of tying you to the area that you're from, tying you to other family members, to a larger group, so that you always have a place of belonging. Ang alarum ayira asak dakok unangach akok akutanam ilara nangir dakok ama arach dakok dani inam tenangin kura nangirarizak. So um, that was my short introduction. Natives have really long introductions um, that would introduce to you the names of the people in my family, my parents and my grandparents, so that you know who that I, who I am, um, if you know who they are. So. I told you that my name is Haley Hana Alahum Ayira Stepatin. Alahum Ayira is my Unangach name. I'm Unangach. I was born and raised on Akutan in the Aleutian Islands of Alaska, and I'm currently living on Denina lands in what is known as Anchorage, Alaska. Growing up in the Aleutian Islands was really amazing. I was the last baby that was born on Akutan, so I was raised by my dad and my aunties there. It's really beautiful out there.
Designs are important. Designs are usually your family designs. So I have the same design throughout. You can see it. It's this like long, short, long. The illusions are really rainy. So that's why we have all these tassels on here too, because we want to be able to wick the rain off of us. The colors are also important. Red is an important color. And we have a dye that we use in the Aleutians made from red ochre. We would mash it up with like a pestle and mortar and mix it with like seal oil or whale oil and create this color that's kind of like the color of this one. And we would put that on everything that we wanted to put anrich or spirit into to bring it alive.